verse 17. James chapter 5 and verse 17 and verse 18. James, the book of James chapter 5 verses 17 and 18. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Verse 13. And he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. Hmm. Are you in James chapter 5, verse 17 and 18? Let's read it again together. I want to go. Well, you see Elias is another name for Elijah. So let's use Elijah. I want to go. Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are and he did what he prayed he didn't just pray he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months verse 18 and he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruits verse 17 again this time i need to hear your voice you want to go elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are read it again that doesn't sound loud one more time Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are. Read it again. Elijah was a man. Read it again. <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> Louder now. Now scream it. I am a man. In 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 1, Elijah looked at the people and the king and said, Before God, whom I stand by my words, there shall be no rain for the space of three and a half years, except by my word. He said, No dew will drop from heaven. And then he left. But James is telling us what brought that result. <laughs> That he prayed earnestly after he made that open and public declaration he went back and prayed earnestly mm. who was Elijah who was Elijah Elijah was who Elijah was a man <laughs> no we are talking about the restoration of glory so we are not looking, we are not talking about the restoration of the glory of a spirit here or an angel. We are talking about the restoration of the glory of a man. Elijah was not God. Elijah was not an angel. Elijah was not a spirit. Elijah was a man. Elijah was a man. A human being like you and I. Elijah was not God. In case you think it does not take God to make it where you are working and that your career. Ordinary men are making it there. We're talking about glory here. Elijah was not a spirit. It does not take spirit to make it in that area of jurisdiction. Excuse me. Human beings are making it there. You don't have to be an angel. Elijah was not an angel. Elijah was a man. Being a man is enough qualification for success. Just being a man qualifies you for the radiation and reflection of glory in every ramification. You don't have to be God. You don't have to be an angel. Don't pray to be an angel. 
Men were not created for angels. Angels were created to minister and to serve men. If a God, God, what God, the Bible says that the mystery that God reveals to men, angels long to know. Be a man is enough criteria for having glory. Be a man is enough qualification for good success, for exploits. Not an angel. Angels pray to know what God reveals to men. It was an angel that became envious and said to God, Who is man that thou art mindful of him? Shout, I carry glory. Elijah was a man. Elijah was a man. Elijah was not God. It is ordinary men that lay hands on the sick and the sick recover. Not angels, not spirits. Elijah was a man. It is men that raise other dead. Men raise men. Elijah was a man. Excuse me. It is men that drive luxurious cars. Other men come in, they are being driven. The one who owns the car is the owner, the driver. The one who is, sits inside is called a passenger. They are all men. <laughs> it is men that build houses, story buildings, own skyscrapers. Ordinary men. The man who builds the house is called the landlord. The one who pays to live inside is called a tenant. The landlord did not become a god to build a house. He remained a man and displayed glory in ownership. Now I need you to be angry tonight. This glory must be restored, I'm telling you. Elijah was a man. Elijah, excuse me, the poor man is a man. The rich man is a man. Both of them have this have the poor man has one head. The rich man has one head. The poor man has 24 hour commodity of time. The rich man doesn't have more than that. He has the same 24 hours commodity of time. Under the same government, under the same budget, in the same location. But one is poor and the other one is rich. And he didn't become an angel to be rich. He remained a man to be rich. That is why they call him rich man. To still drive home the point that he is a human being but has accumulated wealth. Shout, I am a man, I am a man. You better shout it now because I came to offend you and I will leave. I'm a man. It is ordinary men that sit down in parliament and decide the fate of a nation that has accommodated other men. Ordinary men. In the same bank you have opened an account, a man has billions. He's not related to the bank manager. Ah. My prayer for you is that in this restoration of glory, what other men have enjoyed? 2022, it is your turn to enjoy. Where other men have entered, it is your turn to enter. What other men have become, it is your turn to become. What other men have owned, it is your turn to own. Lift your hands and shout, restore my glory. Restore my glory. I am talking about the glory of a man. Glory of a man. I'm talking about the glory of a man. Elijah was a man. Lifted up his hands. He didn't rain water. He rained fire. A man. Oh. On the earth, not in heaven. Physical fire that can cook food. Not Holy Ghost fire. No, because sometimes we are singing, the, the God of Elijah send down fire. You thought it was spiritual fire. It was a physical fire that was meant to burn a sacrifice. Fire, 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 fire. Not spiritual fire, not Holy Ghost fire. Not the one that cast out demons. It was physical fire. It came from heaven as if hell is in heaven. I'm talking about glory. Glory is not a spiritual evidence. Glory is a physical mundane evidence to show. You have to see it. It's something that can be touched. 
is something that can be driven. It's something that can be attended. And as a man, you are qualified for that glory. Moses was a man. We are looking at men who have displayed glory. Carried his rod and hit River Nile. The entire river became blood. All the blood groups and genotypes were found inside. You are telling me you can't marry who you love because she is AS. I am AS. You can change that thing. As a man. It is a group. What do you do to become a member of a group? You pay dues. And if you don't like that group, my dear, cut out of that group and find another group on this altar. Pay the dues here and you will relocate from that thing to all positive. Because the group on the altar is all positive. The blood of Jesus is a universal donor. It can save the black. It can save the white. It can save Africans, Europeans. It can save Asians. The blood of Jesus is a universal honor. Shout yes. Yes. Moses struck the river struck, and it became blood. Am I talking to somebody here? Shout, I am a man and I carry glory. I carry glory. They must see it this year. Excuse me, how can you be here in Glory Center International and you lack glory? It's a slap on grace. Am I talking to somebody here? Restore my glory. Restore my glory. Restore my glory. Let them not think coming to church is a waste. Restore my glory. Let my mother's children not overtake me. Restore my glory. Let my family not think I'm, I am a waste in destiny. Restore my glory. Restore my glory. Restore my glory. Jesus was a man. Throughout his stay on earth, he called himself, I am the son of man. You are the one calling him son of God. All through, he said, I am a son of man. Born of Virgin Mary. He was not born with 32 teeth. He was born as a, virgin, as a baby. The Bible says he grew in knowledge, in wisdom and favor. Sat under the priests, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes. And he learned, so he went to school, like he went to school. He asked questions. He answered. They asked questions. He answered. He was an ordinary man. Fasted for 40 days and 40 nights like we are doing right now. And the Bible stated he was hungry. To drive home the point that is a man. He was hungry. 40 days and 40 nights fasted and the bible says he was hungry because he was a man satan had to tempt him because james chapter 5 says god cannot be tempted neither does he tempt so how was jesus tempted because god wore flesh and blood and so the devil had access to tempt him as a man as a man jesus was a man had the liberty to sleep in the boats there was storm, there was wind, there was rain, there was lightning, there was tempest, chaos, catastrophe, and Jesus was lying down and sleeping. Peter was moving the water. All the disciples were getting the water out of the boat, and the boat was almost sinking. And they went to Jesus. What is wrong with this man sleeping? There is not thou that we perish. In other words, wake up. We need more hands to remove the water. Otherwise, we will all die. Jesus woke up. Did you hear what Jesus said to them? Oh, ye men of little faith. Please hear me. Oh, ye men of what? Faith does not come by praying. Faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. So faith is a direct product of knowledge. So when he said, oh ye men of little faith, he was saying, oh ye men of little knowledge of the glory you carry. As ordinary men. Then he forgot about them. He looked at the wind and looked at the storm. And the Bible says, he rebuked the storm. Peace, be still. 
and there was calmness that is not my preaching my preaching is the next line the bible says that the disciples were astonished they were surprised they were flabbergasted they were amazed they touch him he was still a man they pinch him he was still a man they felt him he was still a man then they look at each other and they said what manner of man not angel what manner of man is this that even the wind obeys voice i pray for 222 of you under the sound of my voice 2022 your bank account will obey your voice your health will obey your voice your marriage will obey your voice your ministry will obey your voice your vision will obey your voice the government will obey your voice your business will obey your voice lift your hands and shout i am a man I am a man. Lezuzu verete anahana haziazia. I am a man. Where others have entered is my turn to enter. I am a man. What others have possessed is my turn to possess. I am a man. What others have become, it is my turn to become. I am. I am a man. 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 Do you consider yourself? Oh my God, my God, my God. Somebody say, Lord, restore my glory. I am talking about the glory of a man. It's not when we get to heaven. That's not the glory I'm talking about. Adema, raise up. No, no, no. We are talking about the earth. As a man. Don't play it. It's a heavenly song. You play it, you go there alone now. I have a lot of things to still do here. There it is here to conquer. Somebody's out here. Somebody's out here. Are you aware that there are, there are glories that men reflect? Other men look at them and say, uh-uh, Dabi, Dabi, this is not a man, this is God. Disciples enter the city, they say, these are men in the likeness, or these are gods in the likeness of men. They enter the city by the virtue of certain signs and wonders. By the virtue of impact, they say, What? This one's coming, they are men. God in the likeness. There are some kind of results that is not traceable to sweat, not traceable to qualification. When you command them, men change their mind. Uh -uh. This one, you are not a man, you are a God. Do you remember Paul? Paul sat down by the river bank and wanted some warmth out of the coat and then he put firewood and then he set the fire unknown to him there was a viper there and by the time he did it ladies and gentlemen a viper jumped out from the fire and fastened his hand his mouth on his hands ladies and gentlemen at that point some of you will shout jesus paul didn't need jesus because there is a glory a man carries some of you would have spoken in tongues paul didn't even need the supernatural at that point snake viper a lower animal I am a man. I am a man. There are some things that shouldn't enter my body. That coronavirus entered is a lie. I am a man. <laughs> that infirmity rampaged me. I am a man. Am I talking to somebody here? By the time the people around saw what happened, do you know what they said? They said that man has sinned against his God. And that his God is punishing him. Let us see what will happen to him. And then the Bible says he looked at the snake and he shook it into the fire when he shook it into the fire the people waited to see the normal symptoms of a snake bite happening to him they thought he would fall and after falling they thought he would shake and after shaking he would begin to foam from the mouth ladies and gentlemen they waited he did not fall they waited he didn't shake they waited he didn't foam they waited and they waited and they waited and they waited till they lost waste yes sir they wasted by waiting he didn't fall he didn't form he didn't shake they waited and they wasted they waited and they lost weight and then the bible said they changed their mind and they came to him and they knelt down they say he is a god he told them wake up i am not a god i am an ordinary man 
like you my sincere prayer for you is that god will allow your glory to be restored that when men see you they will say this is the finger of god they will shout grace god's ability on your ability that enables your ability to do what your ability cannot do without god's ability shout yes Shout it again, I am a man. I wish you understand the glory of a man. You will pray earnestly for it. You will desire it. Excuse me. Do you consider yourself a man? Who has, who has no qualification, who, has not, who is not done with, with school? Elijah was a man with like passions as we are. Do you know what that means? We like weaknesses. We like mistakes. We like frailties. We like passions as we are. Show me the school Elijah went to. No school. So that is not your problem. Uh, this one apostle is preaching. He's not aware of my family background. We are from a poor home. Excuse me. Show me the house of Elijah and his family background. A man, the only introduction the Bible gave was a man who emerged amongst his brethren a teach by finish. Teach was an irrelevant, inconsequential place in the Bible. In fact, it was mentioned only three times when they were introducing Elijah a teach by the second time when they were carrying the covenant past the land of Tish. It wasn't relevant. The third time they were trying to describe another city, though they described it beside Tish. Tish, there was no good, no greatness. There is no no priest came out, no king came out. So it was an irrelevant, inconsequential place he came out from. My friend Elijah was a man we like weaknesses as we are show me the family of Elijah no family no marriage he can boast of no children he can boast of Elijah was a man we like problems we like passions as we are show me the members in the church of Elijah Elijah who had the power to command the king and bring down fire no member in his church only a widow woman that God sends to him Elijah you are not the first to open a shop and no customer like passion like weaknesses so the conditions around does not stop your success the situations around your locations cannot stop your impact and glory am i talking to somebody here elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are have you been threatened have you been attacked are you afraid god said to elijah go to jezebel elijah was fearful me jezebel jesse guinea Elijah went and sat down one day to say, God, it's either you kill me or I die. I'm not going to Jesse. Do you know Jesse? Jesse who? I'm not going. He said, Lord, kill me. Take me home. I'm not better than my fathers. So you are not the first person who is fearful. You are not the first who has been threatened. Elijah had like weaknesses, like fear. But ladies and gentlemen, what was his secret? He prayed earnestly. He was bragging, but he was praying. <laughs> he was flamboyant, but he was praying. <laughs> he was shouting, but he was praying. <laughs> he was prophesying, but he was praying. <laughs> Are you here to pray? Do you have a mouth to pray? Ladies and gentlemen, whatever you do, the only way you can be backed up with glory is by prayer. Prayer brings the glory of a man. Prayer restores the glory of a man. Don't go to school without praying earnestly. Don't attempt entering the office tomorrow without praying earnestly. Please don't give that application without praying earnestly. Please don't take that trip without praying earnestly. Because he prayed earnestly and he didn't pray once. The Bible says he prayed again. He prayed again. For when divinity is concerned, consistency is a requirement. Shout yes. We lack passion as we are. So your excuses don't matter. Show me the school Moses went to. It's Tamara, but the rest is divided. Show me the prominent family Esther came from. Slave girl became queen. When glory is in place, excuse me, qualification will be displaced. That's when you know God does not choose the qualified. He qualifies who he chooses. Restore my glory. Restore my glory. If you know the abilities and what is available for humanity, you will pray that prayer. 
The other day, today I told you how Adam named all the animals in the world without repeating names and without any formal education. That is the capacity you carry. Human beings walked into fire and they were not burned. This flame was not even kindled on them. Excuse me. That is your capacity. Lions shut their mouth and entertained a man in the den. That is your capacity. When glory is upon you, ladies and gentlemen, you will do what other men will see and say, this is none other but the finger of the Lord. Can I pray for you here? I decree, Vina Nanosa, by the rods of the prophetic from your father, from the lungs of my apostolic calling, I decree on this altar, if this church be GCI, Glory Center International, I prophesy, Zevrina Nosh Kipalikata, Erete Perete, Penene, Palikata Dia Balida, Eketuku Perete, Matula Madele Keteke Perete Parina, Anamarhana Hana, Ekusisi, Ekuswaswa, Ekapuli Katapa, whatever has covered your glory, whatever has stolen your glory, whatever has deflated your glory, whatever has punctured your glory, whatever has kidnapped your glory, whatever has bottled your glory on this altar. Welcome to Glory Center International. I release your glory. I release your glory. I uncover your glory. I expose your glory. Let it reflect on your life. You're going out glory. You're coming in glory. In your business glory. On your health glory. In your marriage glory. In your relationship glory. On your potential glory. On your destiny glory. On your life glory glory on your health glory on your career glory whatever you lay your hands to do glory in your thinking glory on your ideas glory on your concept glory on your insight glory on your vision mission ambition and prospect i declare glory to canopy you if you shout aloud amen there is a restoration i said there is a restoration I said there is a restoration. I came to tell you that the beauty of Christianity is restoration. That is what Jesus came to do. He came to restore. That means you used to have it before and you lost it. And so restore. The prefix re is do it again. Back, take it back. The reward store is to fix back. So you lost it. That's why he came to restore. That was why every preaching that he preached, his work was a rework. Re Pants. change your mind to the original position reconcile go back there ah receive receive means to take for the first time and you lost it so when he said receive it means collect the holy ghost again and so in general the summary of the work of jesus was a rework and all of that is is amplified by what you call restoration i prophesy whatever was lost in your life Amen. by the beauty of salvation Amen. it is restored Amen. I say it is restored. Amen. I say it's restored. Amen. The glory of your family restored. Amen. The glory of your marriage restored. Amen. The glory of your academics restored. Amen. The glory of your health restored. Amen. The glory of your ministry restored. Amen. The glory of your destiny restored. Amen. The glory of your image restored. Amen. I restore your name. Amen. I restore your image. Amen. We restore your voice. Amen. Restore your beauty. Amen. We restore your marriage. Amen. Restore your dreams, Amen. restore your vision.